What's up? What's going on everybody? Welcome to an Under Armour Curry 3 review. Y'all ready? Let's go. Alright guys, as someone who does not typically hoop in Under Armour sneakers, I gotta give you guys my insight, man. And I don't even know why I said typically because I've actually never hooped in an Under Armour sneaker till now. And I know a lot of people share the same perspective as I do. Never hooped in an Under Armour sneaker, but you're curious, and especially with the Curry 3s getting a lot of attention. I gotta give you guys my perspective and ultimately answer the question, are the Curry 3s worth it as your first Under Armour sneaker for hooping? First things first, we gotta start off with the cushioning. So as far as the cushioning goes in these Curry 3s right here, we got a charged foam and it seems like Curry really likes the charged foam because this is a returning technology from the Curry 2s and uh, from what I've been reading, it seems like it's kind of similar to what a Zoom Air technology would be from Nike. Um, it's supposed to take the impact you have from like running and jumping and then it's gonna convert that into a really responsive burst for your quick first step and when you're moving different directions. So that's kind of the whole idea behind charge foam. And for myself, I'm not gonna lie, that whole idea of the charge foam bounce back did not translate when I was playing in these for the past week. Cause this cushioning right here prior to wearing them from what I was reading is supposed to have an ultra responsive burst. And I'm not gonna lie, it was more so like a soft pillowy cushion. And uh, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but what I felt was a lot different than what I was expecting. Let's just say that. My Steph Curry game was looking like Steph Curry game. And as far as this upper material goes, we got this thing called Threadborn, and it's basically like a bunch of high tension threads all woven together. And I'm not gonna lie, it does feel really nice. Kinda similar to Nike's Fly Knit or the Adidas Prime Knit, it does allow for a lot of flexibility and it does let your feet breathe. I wore these for four hours the other day while I was hooping and the breathability is on point. As far as four foot lockdown, we got this like fuse overlay right here that wraps around the threadborn, and this is gonna allow your foot not to roll over the side of the sneaker when you're making those lateral cuts and whatnot. And overall, it does make your foot feel pretty secure. And to go along with that lockdown feel, we got this asymmetrical lacing system right here, and this is gonna allow some material to just really wrap around your foot, and it does really help. So to go along with the fuse and then the lacing system, we also also got these like carbon fiber wings right here in the back and between those three things right here your foot is gonna feel in place and I would say after a few hours your foot almost feels like a part of the shoe if that makes any sense as far as the traction goes we got this like herringbone pattern at the bottom right here going in all different types of directions and I'm not gonna lie this was getting kind of annoying because the dust really gets into all of these grooves and I was constantly wiping down the bottom of the sneakers but as far as actually having the grip it does grip on really well I would I would not recommend these for outdoor hooping. It does not seem like this rubber would really hold up, but for indoors, it did pretty well, but it does carry on a lot of dust, so make sure whatever basketball court you are playing in is pretty clean, or else you're gonna be wiping down your sneakers pretty often. Aesthetically, man, when it comes to the looks, the Curry 3s do not be caught dead wearing these as lifestyle sneakers, okay? These are strictly meant for the basketball court. Other companies have done a really good job doubling their basketball sneakers as lifestyle sneakers. I know with the Kobe's, those look cool on court and off court, but with the Curry's, under Armour, they just got into the game, all right? They're just trying to get the whole basketball aspect down right now, and these do not double up as lifestyle sneakers, in my opinion, as far as looks go. I think Curry and Under Armour actually have other models that are more geared towards lifestyle. I'm wearing those. You might want to stick to those. All I got to say about the looks as far as the Curry Under Armour 3s, you know, they look decent for basketball, but for lifestyle, I would just not wear these off the court. That's just my opinion. Overall, man, as someone who has never worn a pair of Under Armour sneakers, I'm gonna have to go and say these are not a bad pickup. It's a cool switch up from your typical Jordans and your Nikes and Adidas and whatnot. I'm actually pretty glad I got these and they do have a really nice court feel when you are playing basketball in them. And it was a nice change to see what the charge foam was all about and I'm happy I tried these out on the court. Thank you Under Armour for sending these over. I would say these are worth the $140 price tag. That's not a bad price tag. It's really competitive with a lot of basketball sneakers on the market right now. Some of those are reaching like $200 on the market. So for $140, you are getting a lot of innovative technology. You got this fuse, you got the threadborn, you got carbon fiber, you got this herringbone traction right here. So overall, the Curry 3s, I would say if you are in the market for a new pair of basketball sneakers and you kind of want to switch it up, the Curry 3s might be a good play. $140, that's not bad at all. So that's my overall answer answer to the question, are these worth copping? It is a yes. That pretty much wraps up the Under Armour Curry 3s right here. And like I said, 
These were not a bad introduction to a pair of Under Armour sneakers for myself. Make sure you guys check them out. They got a lot of different colorways coming up in the future. Please leave down in the comments below if you guys think the Under Armour Curry 3s are worth getting for basketball. Are these a top? or a drop and also let me know overall what you guys think of Under Armour do you guys want me to do more products from them do you guys want me to do some of the clothing I could talk about them if you guys want it so that's pretty much it thank you guys for checking out that video and until next time I'm out Peace. Alright guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you guys comment down below if you guys want me to talk about more Under Armour stuff and what you guys think of the Curry 3s. Please also like the video if you guys get a chance to and check out this video. Also check out this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the page. And that's pretty much it. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.